To move both groupings to the bottom of the axis, I'll start off by creating our bar chart. I'll pull year into the columns and make it discrete. Then I'll pull metric into the columns and the amount into the rows. When you have two groups in the columns, Tableau automatically puts the first field at the top of the axis and the second field at the bottom of the axis. And if we switch metric and year around, we're not getting the correct groupings that we want. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the header for year in our bar chart. And also remove the field label, so we're left with just the metrics. Then I'll have it fill up the entire view and I'll right click on the tab and duplicate it. On the second tab, I'm gonna bring back the year by right clicking and showing the header. Then I'm going to remove the metric so we're left with just the year. I'll also remove the access since we don't need it. I'll call this one the group bar chart year. And our first worksheet I'll call group bar chart metric. On a dashboard, bring in both worksheets and resize them. Also hide the titles. And I want the field labels to be horizontal, so I'm going to rotate the labels. For the second worksheet, I'm going to make it small so that you can only see the year and a little bit of the bars. And then I'll drag the year under our metric grouping. Now I need to bring the second worksheet behind the first one so that the bars start to disappear and we're left with just the year. To get even more spacing, we can drag up the zero axis on the first worksheet. And then play with the sizing a little bit so that they're aligned. Also format the year so it's a little bit darker and a little bit bigger. And I'll do the same thing for the metric labels. To get the dividers between each metric, I'm going to form out the borders and remove the row dividers. Then I'll increase the level for the column divider and remove the pane, but keep the header. And for the year metric, I'll do a similar thing. I'll format it, go to the borders, and I'll add a header divider for the columns and increase the level. This is a workaround, but now we have both the groupings at the bottom of the chart. The last thing I'm gonna do is go back to the first worksheet and add metric into the marks as a color. Now the groupings are even more easily distinguishable.